According to Asantehene, COVID-19 and climate change have threatened the development of the African continent. He therefore expects governments and citizenry to brace up for the new order the pandemic leaves behind. So, someone has to open the eyes and minds of the people of Africa to the reality that in the post-COVID world, we are on our own and we swim or sink on our own stream. So, this new reality has no room for any dependency syndrome and governments and citizens alike must wake up to the imperative need to chart new paths, embrace sure. new thinking, must have the fresh courage to acknowledge our common good and have the courage to work together for its realization. The Asantehene acknowledged COVID-19 has had mild impact on the continent, but he is unhappy partisan politics have further delayed the development of the continent. He wants Ghana to chart a different path, especially as leadership of both executive and legislative arms of government are led by persons from opposing parties. It begins with the two mighty figures, unfortunately the speaker is not here, who we honor today. For the first time in our history, we have leaders from opposing parties leading the executive and legislature. Many, the, many see this as a natural prescription for chaos and ineffectual governance. I see it as an opportunity for statesmanship, for rational interchange of ideas. President Akufuado, in responding to Asantehene's call for unity in developing the country, said there is synergy between the executive and legislature despite difference in party leadership. My government was passed by the parliament Without too much controversy, the budget of my, uh, the first term of my second admin administration was also passed by the parliament. These are the two key legislative interventions that go towards the formation of the government. And both of those were done in a very good spirit. And I thank the speaker very much for contributing to this occurrence and this eventuality. It has meant that the difficulties that people felt I would have in being able to get important matters through this parliament have not in fact materialized. And it is because of the spirit of cooperation that I've received from the speaker. The 2020 prestigious Millennium Excellence Awards was in celebration of African and international achievers. A coveted Gold Coast Award was conferred on President Akufuado for his free senior high school policy and other interventions to change the lives of people. The Millennium Excellence Awards is held every five years to celebrate individuals and organizations who have had positive impact on the African society. Many individuals from diverse fields were honored at the occasion, including investigative journalist Manase Azure Awini. For Joy News, Nane Ojima Kumase.